What up peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. They just finished painting the outside of the building here, so oh, they missed a spot. It's looking nice and sleek and got some brand new paint on there. They went from like the orangey kind of brown tan look to like a like a dark gray, black and white. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Everybody's been working super hard today so far, but I just got done doing the only trade I've done today, but it was this one here. We have some awesome GameCube games. Also some really good PS2 RPGs and stuff like that. Champions of Norath, one of the best PS2 games of all time. And some Xbox stuff here. But of course, if you wanna see the trades closer up, if you wanna see all the stuff we get, not just the highlights, make sure you hit that link down below in the description to the Double Jump Extras channel and check out some bonus videos from here at the store. Greg is coming through with a big boy order and he got the Devil Summoner 2 that just came in. Ba bam. Um, yeah, it is marked as poor. It looks like the cover art's a little wavy. I'm gonna heat press it. Hopefully that brings it out. But Greg, thank you for your order. Hey, sir, are you finding everything okay? Yeah, I was just thinking, uh, could I uh, see that fighter with some alternate arts in it? Oh, yeah. What, that, what do you think? What do you think is that? Oh, this. It's so, Nintendo has a thing called My Nintendo. Uh -huh. It's kind of their replacement for Club Nintendo, if you remember that. But they have all sorts of rewards you can get, digital and physical, for when you play certain games or buy certain things. You get, you know, you get points for it, basically. Hmm. One of the things that they offer sometimes are these little, like, alternate cover arts for various games that you're, you're able to print at home okay. and have some cool artwork for your games. So what we did is we downloaded all the ones that we could possibly find, current ones and older ones that they don't have available anymore, but luckily people have archived them. And we got them printed on super high quality gloss paper that is extremely similar to the original, as close as we could get at least. <laughs> and we got them printed out high quality. We got them cut to size and we have them all nicely organized and separated in this binder. So hmm. for a buck, you can get you know, whichever one you want. What and if you need a case for it? Well, if you want a case, we have those too. So for $2.99, you can get the case and a thing of art. Wow. Wow. What a day to be alive. Yeah. So you know, we were, we were going to save this for the new store. But since that got pushed off, we figured we might as well kind of offer yeah. it to our customers now. So... Yeah, if you if you're you know for you since you live locally, sir, who I don't know, yeah, customer yeah. Yeah, customer number time. one, you can come in and you can get these and add to your collection. Heck yeah! And if you want to display it on the shelf next to the game, not put it you know over the original artwork, mm -hmm. you can get the case version and you can have them both on the shelf nice. to nicely display. Heck yeah! Like this Paper Mario. Yeah, that that <laughs> was cool. I really liked that one, and then I like the Mario RPG one. Those are probably the two coolest ones in my opinion but yeah we actually just got this done today so Looks like you were hard at work on it yeah we have this really awesome employee named oh. robert oh. and he cut them all out nice. and got them all organized and everything so yeah. it was a new store idea but we have to implement it now nice. so you came over the other night and did I something did. yes i uh, ransacked the game no i'm kidding um I got to use the Pokemon Staff Station before any of you did. <laughs> uh, um, so I am putting together a little thing. I, I, I have this little sticker book from Nintendo Power. And it's, it's like beautiful. Um, you would like put your stickers in here, but the paper we're using doesn't have the stickers on them because you can't really get that anymore because they don't make it but we found suitable replacements. I think they're postcards, like one side's the glossy side, the other side's where you write on. Mm -hmm. um, and it, they look really nice. Yeah. They, they came out really well, uh, especially with the new ink too. Um, but I just got some little like image, um, like double-sided adhesive um, tabs, and then you just put one on the thing and then stick it on there. And then, um, yeah, I have 80 photos, and uh, so cool. this holds 112, but according to the back of it, it holds 140, which is uh, very strange. <laughs> but the coolest thing is, is that if you mess with the printer settings on the Pokemon Snap Station, you can get bigger images printed off. 
So I have started work on these little album, like Pokemon Pokedex entries, basically from the Pokemon Snap game. I'm gonna have like the little information, like the name, and then like how many points the photo was worth or whatever, <laughs> um, just for funsies. And I got all this stuff at Craft Warehouse because it was cheap and that's so cool. Nice. So it's it's coming together. It's all coming together. So the the big photos like this, it's not you can't just print these out normally. You have right. to like open the machine and you have to push buttons on the printer to get it to work. But these smaller ones back here, this is how they normally print out. And you get four of each photo. It's just kind of how it works. So one page will have 16, four different images, four of each. And that's what we are going to be offering with the Pokemon Snap Station at the new store. <sighs> so it's just another thing that we're, you know, we, we're, we're making progress on. And obviously, like, I figured out which paper we needed and all that stuff and got it working, got the thing to have no use for, for cards anymore. Right. So it works, but then this was the act, the first like big test. Yeah. Because I did a test print myself, but you know, you printed how many pages? Uh, 20. Yeah. 20 pages. And they came out awesome. So. Yeah. So we know it works and we know it's going to be really cool when you guys get to finally use it. So. Yes. And that will not be something we're doing until we're at the new store. We do not have room for the Pokemon Snap Station here, but this is just one of the things that we're still really excited about and hope that you guys are as well. And. If you want to make a cool little Pokemon Snap binder thing, then you can be like Colton and be a cool guy. Yeah. You can print them off at our store and go to Craft Warehouse and get all your stuff. <laughs> Not a sponsor. <laughs> you gotta plug that in? Yeah. And, and turn, turn it on. And turn you it getting on. it? Yeah, I'm, I'm buying it. <laughs> it's going home, I'm gonna play it all night long. That's good. You're getting both of them? No, one. <laughs> <laughs> I expect high scores for them. What about two player? Me. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. That sounds good. Bombing, he's doing it over here. Whoa, that's a good spot. I like this spot. Oh my god, <gasps> it's working. Play volleyball, the best one. Oh, yeah, oh, asteroids. No, that's volleyball. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Oh, Ryan. Come on, you're supposed to get an ace. Hey, it's my first time, okay? I'm trying. Oh, I'm literally right trying. Right. Yes. I got over to the other side. He's gonna spike it. Ah! <laughs> Come on, Ryan. He's not gonna buy it if you're playing like that. Well, let me well, see the asteroids. Got <laughs> sold. He said sold. Did you hear him? Sold? He's getting it. But I'm playing. <laughs> There's a second one you can buy. Okay. All right, that's it for today. We're going home. It's a Disney Infinity. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. We're just getting started here. We have some orders to pull. And one of the ones that I'm pulling, somebody bought Ease 1 and 2 Chronicles for PSP. Pretty expensive title. But they also bought Ease 7 Premium Edition for PSP, also expensive. This one has the original plastic on it. It's just, you know, cut open at the top. And then we put an extra baggie around it to protect it. So pretty nice order there. Let's see if there's anything else cool. Weston, who bought the Ease games, also bought the sealed Mario and Luigi. And we got an order for Wind Waker and Guitar Hero. And then Darkness 1 and 2. Kyle's here. Hello. Guess who else is here? It's a dang old double jump reunion. <laughs> Look at him right there. <gasps> it's Naven. What? Ah. What are those? Just what are you getting? Uh, Four Swords, Link to the Past, and Excite, Excite Bike. Bike. One of the best NES games ever. Legit. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it is true. What are you getting? Just here it cause trouble. <laughs> well, I was delivering Bobby a shirt that I bought for him. <gasps> Bobby, do you want to grab your shirt? That I, that I got you. you got a shirt? Oh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah I have a... You wear shirts, Bobby? Uh, sometimes, because society wants me to. Is it an Oregon Ducks shirt? No, but it is green. I did see an Oregon Ducks uh, shirt. Nice. But I decided not to go. Was it covering the... <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Is it Ducks? Heck yeah. What is it? It's a Mythothoth goal. Whoa. <laughs> like that one. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'll have to bring in my little uh, like cast of a Mythosaurus skull. It's like yay big and all 3D. It's pretty sweet. What? Yeah, I'll bring that in tomorrow then. It's just hanging on my wall. Why don't you just I put it right here. Put a picture of it right I, here. I think. Yes. I'll bring it in. It's cool. Yeah. I think that Bobby likes Star Wars. What's Star Wars? Oh, like Star Trek, right? Yeah. It's like that. All right, Bobby, Star Trek or Oregon Ducks? Uh, Star Wars or Oregon Ducks? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Oregon Ducks in space. With the mustache. <laughs> With the mustache. Space football. Space football, yeah. The football player in space. With the mustache. Is that what it is? Wait, it's football? Yeah. It's I thought you just liked the bird. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> like the, the ones wings. from Oregon, though. Oh, yeah, specifically. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, Washington Ducks? Get out of here. And as we talked about um, a couple videos ago, um, our main shipment of Luigi's Mansion is getting delayed, unfortunately. Most of the distributors are getting their copies late, so unfortunately, the place that we ordered the most from, they are going to be late as well. So uh, we're trying to see what we can do. We have some copies that came in that were used to basically satisfy all the local pickup pre-orders. The ones we have to ship, I think that you guys are probably a little bit more okay with not getting it day one because that wouldn't have been possible anyway. But the local pickup ones, they kind of expect to be able to get it right away. So um, those already got taken care of. We are hoping to get another shipment in because we ordered them from three different distributors. So we're hoping to get the other smaller one today. Um, and then the other one I think is probably gonna end up getting here early next week. And then we'll be able to ship out all the copies. So we had talked about doing the slip cover for five lucky people who would win. What we're considering doing to make up for the delay because you know, it's obviously out of our control, but um, when we take pre-orders, we, you know, there's a reasonable expectation that you're gonna get it day one, if not very close to it. So we're thinking about possibly making slip covers for everybody that pre-ordered. And <laughs> that's gonna take a very long time because they're not easy and quick, like the cover arts. You don't just print them out and then cut them. These ones you have to print them out, cut them, fold them, and each one has four folds on it, and then you have to glue it. So it's kind of a pain, but I think that it might be a nice little thing we can do to kind of make up for the games being a little bit late. So I don't know, we'll talk about that more later. We'll see if we can do it. It's just gonna be so much work. All right, we're trying it. We're gonna try to do slip covers for all you guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Maybe after we do this, we'll see if we want to do slip covers for a different game or if we just want to do the artwork. Go back to the five people, <laughs> five lucky winners. All right, we're both gonna be working on it today. So hopefully we can get it done. We got our super glue, we got our gloves, we got our things and we got the cases. Look at that, it fits perfect. Look at, you can't, it, where it was is the pretty beautiful. Even? All right, that's, that's two. And we're done for the day. <laughs> we only have like 85 more. Only. Man, it has been a long day <laughs> of folding and gluing paper to get these Luigi Man Luigi's Mansion uh, slip covers done. And so I'm looking into an alternate solution to have them printed somewhere. I'll keep you guys updated on that, but we may be doing something a little bit more for either the new Zelda game that's coming out in September or maybe something beyond that. If you want to secure your copy, um, we do have pre-orders up for the Zelda game right now. And at the very least, you will get an alternative cover art that uh, Ariel is doing the, the artwork for, which is gonna be pretty cool. We'll show that as soon as it's done, but there might be something else in the pipeline for that one. And if we can't get it done in time, it'll be for a, a different game down the road, but I'm very excited and we will share more when we can. Bye, Kyle. Bye, Kyle. Bye, Bobby. Bye, Colton. Bye, Abby. Bye. See you guys tomorrow. Together.